Today I'm reviewing the Baby Desert Eagle by Magnum Research. Let's go over the basic specifications. It uses .177 caliber BBs and it can hold 15 BBs. It has a velocity of 420 feet per second. It's powered by CO2 and it typically costs around $36. The gun comes with an accessory rail that you can mount to the top if you like. The rail is made of plastic just like the rest of the gun. There's no blowback, which is good because it usually means more velocity, but it's bad because it makes the gun less realistic to shoot. The slide release is totally fake. The safety is also totally fake. Instead, the safety is where the magazine release should be. Also, the hammer on the back is completely fake. In fact, this gun doesn't even have a removable magazine. Instead, the BBs are loaded along the slide, like this. Here's how the CO2 is installed. Unfortunately, that thumb screw on the bottom is always visible. We'll go straight to the spam test. After the first shot, for some reason I thought that nothing had come out of the muzzle because the can did not appear damaged, so I took a second shot. Later on I realized that the wrapper on the front of the can was simply hiding the hole. As you can see, both BBs actually dented the back of the can. That's actually pretty good penetration for a BB pistol. I'll give this a spam score of .9 spam. Now for the accuracy test. Unfortunately, the weather outside was just not suitable today, so I set up a target in my garage. So I did all 10 shots at 20 feet away. You'll see that the gun has a pretty solid grouping. Unfortunately, the gun shoots above the target you're aiming at. The sights are not adjustable, so there's not a lot you can do about it unless you want to grind some of the plastic down on the rear sight. So, what are my final thoughts on this gun? Well. I was pretty excited about it when I first got it, and uh, I couldn't believe the price on it. I mean, you just don't really find that many um, BB pistols, uh, CO2 powered BB pistols at that price. Um, unfortunately, it looks like the engineers cut pretty much every corner possible in order to get to that price. I mean, they give you no magazine, they give you fake controls, um, the gun is just just cheap plastic everywhere. In fact, the first time I tried to load the BBs with this little thing right here, it actually got stuck. And I had to work at it for a while with a screwdriver to get it unstuck so that I could get the BBs loaded into it. Um, I finally got that working. Uh, the trigger pull is probably my biggest complaint. Uh, this trigger is very, very hard to pull. Now, not to say that you can't pull it. Any adult or probably teenager should be able to pull it. Uh, with one finger, but it's just that when there's that much uh, resistance on the trigger, it makes it very difficult to stay on target while you're pulling that trigger because you tend to, to move the gun because you have to put so much effort into pulling that trigger. And uh, so that was a, a challenge in trying to stay on target. Um, also, of course, as you saw in my shooting test, the sights aren't very good. Now, I think you could actually fix that. Uh, I think you could actually grind these sights down a little bit and grind the hole down a little bit and that would actually bring the target down uh, from where you're shooting so it, it probably is correctable now it may be different from one gun to the next but this one I think you could actually fix it and of course if the target were too low you might be able to ground down uh, the, the front to compensate but uh, at some point I may uh, try doing that and see what happens um, Anyway, um, overall though, I'd say the gun's a pretty big disappointment. I mean, if you just absolutely need a, a pistol, a CO2 power pistol, and you need the cheapest thing possible, I mean, I guess this is it. It's one redeeming feature, but well, I say it's two redeeming features, is its price, because it is very inexpensive. The other redeeming feature is it has a lot of penetration power uh, for a, a pistol. So, uh, you know, at 420 uh, feet per second, you saw how it did on the spam test, did in the back of the can. I've, I've done several BB pistols that uh, won't dent the back of the can on the spam so so that's pretty good so that's that's about all it's got going for it um, thanks for watching leave some comments thanks